Can you imagine a world that is even more beautiful than our Earth? Scientists have now discovered a new planet that is even better than our home. Called Super Earth, this planet is a little bigger, a little warmer, and it orbits a star that has a much longer lifespan than our Sun. Life should be able to develop far more easily and better on such exoplanets than on our own. We do not yet know whether this distant world is inhabited, who lives there, and whether we humans could one day colonize this super planet. There is a special fascination with distant planets in space that are inhabited and possibly even better suited to life than our own Earth. It's not just ordinary people who dream of contact with highly developed civilizations, of the first images of bizarre creatures on other planets, or of possible alternative worlds in case our own world no longer offers us any security. Science is also interested in this topic and has made astonishing progress over the last 30 years. Since the Kepler mission, we know for the first time of hundreds and even thousands of planets in space. This extensive collection of data has inspired some researchers to go in search of these planets. The focus is on the twins of our Earth, or so-called super-Earths. These planets resemble our home and are even more perfectly suited for life. One of the most remarkable scientific searches in this field led to the identification of 24 super-habitable planets. The process was possible thanks to a unique combination of advanced astronomy, careful analysis, and entirely new scientific methodologies. The result was a list of planets that could surpass our own world in many ways. The search began with the Kepler Space Telescope, which went into service in the late 1990s and was able to provide us with accurate data on exoplanets for the first time. Thanks to this groundbreaking instrument, we were able to measure the tiny variations in brightness that occur when a planet passes in front of its host star. When selecting superworlds, scientists focused on stars that live slightly longer than our Sun. This applies in particular to K-type stars, which are somewhat cooler than our Sun and therefore more stable. The lifespan of K-type stars easily exceeds that of G-type stars like our Sun by a factor of two. This would theoretically offer a longer habitable period for planets. In plain English, life can evolve there longer and it can potentially become a super-advanced civilization precisely because the planet offers more stable conditions. The 24 candidates on the list of worlds that are even better than Earth include planets that are between 5 and 8 billion years old and up to 1.5 times larger than Earth. These 24 super-Earths were selected from a total of 5,000 known planets. KIC 983-2379, a super-inhabitable world. The idea that there are places in the universe that are not only viable, but potentially even more life-friendly than Earth, fires our imagination. We dream of such places, which are perhaps a bit like paradise. Would one of these 24 super-inhabitable planets really be a serious alternative for us? One planet in particular stood out in the scientists' search. KIC 983-2379, which orbits a K-type star called KOI 5715 in the Cygnus constellation. The planet was first discovered through the precise observations of the Kepler Space Telescope and has fascinated scientists ever since. KIC 983-2379 is around 1.8 times larger than the Earth and is estimated to be 5.5 billion years old, which puts it in a unique position in the search for exoplanets. Three criteria that could be more suitable for life than our earthly conditions are thus already fulfilled. KOI 5715 is an orange dwarf star that should have a lifespan of 20 to 70 billion years. Our Sun, on the other hand, will run out of fuel after 10 billion years. The atmosphere of KIC 983-2379 could contain about 30% oxygen, with temperatures that are on average 5 degrees warmer than on Earth. These conditions could support a rich and diverse biosphere, possibly even far more abundant and diverse than Earth's. Imagine a world where even more life thrives than ours, even more different species of animals or plants, possibly even different species of humanoids or completely different creatures that we cannot currently imagine in our wildest dreams. The size of the planet also suggests a higher gravity, which could have different implications for the morphology of life forms. 
Life forms there would probably be more robust and sturdier to withstand the additional weight pressure. This could also lead to significantly stronger bone and muscle development and the movement and reproduction of such species would probably be very different. As a human, you would feel heavier and there would be pressure on your bones. We do not yet know to what extent our bodies would be able to adapt to such conditions. We won't know until the first humans have lived on Mars or the Moon for a longer period of time, where gravity is lower. That means you would feel lighter there and lose muscle mass and perhaps bone mass as well. Back to KIC 983-2379 and the possibility that a climate and ecosystem can be found there. We can't yet look that far and accurately into space to examine the planets visually. We have to rely on calculations and estimates from our computers. These computers have calculated that the presence of a moon and an abundant amount of land and water increase the chance of life and ecosystems there. A large moon could stabilize the planetary axis, which could mitigate climatic extremes and promote the development of advanced life forms. The research into the potential habitability of KIC 983-2379 was led by astronomer and astrogeobiologist Dirk schultz mckuch He and his team from Washington State University emphasized the special potential habitability of KIC 983-2379 even though the planet challenges our current concepts of habitat and adaptation. This world could therefore be super habitable, but whether it would be a place for us humans to live or settle is still in doubt. The scientist referred to further investigations planned by the JWST and the European Space Agency's Plato Space Observatory. These two telescopes are to take another close look at the planet KIC 983-2379, which is around 2,964 light-years away. Now that the distance to this world is known, you can already guess what the next catch would be when it comes to the habitability of KIC 983-2379. At the moment, we can only dream of one day being able to reach worlds that are so far away from us. We will have to master faster than light travel to even begin to think about visiting the Super Earth KIC 983-2379 in person at some point. Nevertheless, it would be exciting for our scientific curiosity alone to know whether this world is inhabited or not. In his work on the distant superplanet, Schultz McCoach also suggested that our experiences with other worlds in the cosmos make us more aware of how life-friendly our own planet is and that we absolutely must preserve this perfectly suitable world for us. Of course, the question of the other 23 superworlds still remains. Is there another one that would be habitable for us humans? A second Earth within reach? How many of the 24 super-Earths do you think could be a real alternative for us? Let's take a look. TOI 1452b has turned out to be a super-Earth at a slightly closer range. Only 100 light-years away, this world is very likely covered mostly by water. NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite Project determined this, and the data was later confirmed by other ground-based telescopes. Since these reports, TOI 1452b has been considered a remarkable example of a super-Earth. This planet orbits a red dwarf star about 100 light-years away from us and is about 70% larger and five times as massive as the Earth. Its density suggests that it could even have a very deep ocean, although further research is needed to confirm this assumption. Of course, we would also need landmass for an alternative world. TOI 1452b could also be a huge rocky planet. However, so far we have little evidence of an atmosphere suitable for humans. The planet may even have an atmosphere of hydrogen and helium and would then not be a new home for us humans. A planet 100 light years away would be accessible for an extremely long space mission. Let's assume that life here on Earth becomes really unbearable in a few hundred thousand years. By then, we would surely have made progress in space travel and could plan a long-duration flight to save our species in the long term. However, scientists and space fans alike hope that we will soon be able to master warp propulsion. Then, spaceships could slip through folds in space and time and also overcome greater distances. Visiting exoplanets live and on-site would then no longer be a problem. JG-1214b is a super-Earth that is even closer to us. 
At a distance of just 42 light years, this world is around 2.6 times larger than ours and orbits a red dwarf star. Measurements have shown evidence of a dense atmosphere that is probably rich in water vapor. GJ 1214b is therefore suspected of being a so-called Hycean world, which consists mainly of hot water. Whether there is life there is questionable, but for us humans, such worlds are probably not suitable places to live. Kepler 22b is another distant hope for mankind. Around 600 light years away from Earth, it was one of the first planets to be discovered in the habitable zone of its star. The planet is about 2.4 times larger than Earth and could have an atmosphere dense enough to support a mild greenhouse climate. But we won't know whether there is water there until the James Webb Space Telescope has taken another close look at the surroundings of Kepler 22b. So far, things are not looking good for us humans. Is there no second Earth in space? Or have we simply not looked properly so far? At a distance of 36 light years, HD 85512b would also be a cosmic stone's throw away. This planet could have conditions similar to those on Earth, provided it has a sufficient atmosphere to hold water in liquid form. In the habitable zone of a K-type star, this world could be a true twin of our Earth. But again, we'll have to wait until further research confirms this data. Become a subscriber now and be part of every exciting new video.